Hi, my name is Dana and today I'm gonna be decorating my desk with a bunch of stickers. Just a little bit of history. I used to love stickers when I was a little kid. I still do, but I had like a little sticker book collection. So I don't know, I was on Amazon one day and of course I just ordered a 350 pack of stickers. And then one of my friends who actually was watching my stream at the time, I did a little unveiling with all the stickers. Anyway, she sent me another pack of stickers. So uh, yeah, we're gonna use all these stickers we got to decorate this desk. First things first, I'm gonna wrap the desk with this neon green like paper. Um, I figured that this would save me from throwing away my desk in the future when I decide I don't want all these stickers on it. There you go, the desk is all wrapped. We do have, you know, a couple spaces right here where, you know, the board wasn't wide enough, but we're gonna try and cover this with the actual sticker, so it'll be fine. All right, so I picked out some stickers I'm for sure putting on here. I guess we're just gonna start in one of these corners. break in for a moment and explain that yes this is a political piece of art but I didn't do it to push some political agenda I honestly didn't think you know that deep on it this is just to decorate my desk the truth is I had over 650 stickers and a lot of them are probably more violent that I would use so this was the best way that I could think to incorporate and create a like cohesive idea for this project so I'm honestly really proud of this desk because I came up with a way to use all these stickers that I don't think I would have normally used. Um, I was going through all the stickers and I just saw, I don't know, ones that were way more violent than I would normally, you know, slap on my computer or anything. But I thought, hey, this would be cool if I did like a me versus the world or American history versus me sort of situation and that's what I did so as you make your way around the desk you might see stickers that are very patriotic or symbolize um, war and then as you go down or around the desk you find stickers like my little um, cats collection that remind me to be the fierce woman that I am. At first I was kind of like taking each sticker and deciding where it looked best but then I started taking a lot of stickers and laying them out and kind of deciding a uh, placement for a lot of them and doing a mass unpeeling and that seemed to be way more efficient. I do want to mention that this project was very time consuming. I probably spent about eight working hours peeling stickers and applying them to my desk. Although I will say I'm very impressed with the final outcome so I think it was totally worth it. 
If anyone is interested in trying this project for themselves, the total cost is about $25. If you have Amazon Prime, I know that you can order a 500 pack of stickers for under 20 bucks and you don't have to worry about that shipping. You will of course have to buy a poster board and some clear tape if you wanna replicate the exact project that I have done here, but you can again alter the materials to alter this price. And if you have anything that you could possibly use at your household, that would save you from buying anything for this project. And hey, if you decide to try this project for yourself, Please like tag me on Twitter or Instagram or make a YouTube video about it for real because I definitely want to see whatever you do. Now we're moving on to the section of my desk that is more about me. I was very intentional when I started doing this project because I wanted the positive stickers to be closer to me and the uh, very violent stickers to be more hidden by my keyboard and my monitors. So I just wanted you guys to know that this was very intentional when I did this placement. I wanted to have, you know, a nice collection of things that I'm gonna be looking at every day. I think another positive to this project is when I get tired of looking at this on my desk, I can actually remove it in one solid piece, kind of clean up the edges and hang it as a work of art on my wall. I now think that decorating my desk is going to be like my future obsession. Whenever I get tired of it, I can just like save the panel and I don't know, make maybe a couple of them and over time attach those and then I have a giant wall i don't know that would be interesting to have like an giant wall of art that i have created so that's a future endeavor for sure hey you can see that i finally got around to wrapping the desk i was so excited to finish except for the sad part is that i didn't i got a couple of strips in and i was smoothing the bubbles out it was taking so long that i decided you know what i'm just gonna come back to this because i put so much time into it that i will be mad if i mess it up right here at the end so I did, I came back to it the very next morning and I'm so glad that I did because the outcome is just absolutely amazing. In a couple of moments, I will you know, give you a couple of ending shots here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do that and I will see you next time. Bye.